let's just say that these gang stalkers may have cost me my home today. Because apparently they can't get nobody in check. And apparently I can't stick up for myself downstairs. Technically, by law, you cannot kick somebody out just because they're sticking up for themselves. And knowing what people have been doing. Plus, these neighbors know those kids. Knowing that people are trying to do stuff and I'm standing up for myself and nobody's doing nothing about it. Technically, by law, you can't kick somebody out of a home. If they know what's going on with you, that means they're allowing it to happen. And nobody's doing anything about it. It does not matter what help I get, I'm going to be denied of help. That's all I'm going to say. I swear to God, if I lost my home because of the sun of silence, I'm going to be very fucking pissed off. And for whoever they got in the mix. Because this screwing with me and messing with me, I can't, I can't even have peace on my porch. So technically, by law, by my rights and constitution, I do have a right to stick up for myself. Nobody cannot kick you out just because you are standing your ground or you're trying to protect yourself. Technically, by law, somebody driving by and yelling at you, technically, by law, that's provoking you. And you do have a right to stick up for yourself. And technically, by law, too, if you're standing up for yourself, technically, by law, the landlord cannot kick you out over that because he knows what's going on. He knows the activities, what's going on, and he's allowing it. Technically, by law, that can be a serious problem at that, too. I swear to God, if we lose our home because of the sign of silence, I'm going to be pretty fucking pissed off. Because somebody's not putting somebody in check at that, too. I believe this is ridiculous at that, too. I'm just trying to be out on the porch, trying to have a peaceful day. Trying to. It don't matter where I go. I've I've always recorded. But I didn't have the recorder on for that car, though. That called me a bitch, and I said, get the fuck back here. I dare you say it to my face. It was a red car that drove by. Going down the one way they're not supposed to. And you know what? This is just showing me something. But you know what? If the landlord knows that people have been bothering me, and I cannot defend myself. That is a problem. By your right as a human being, they cannot take that right away from you. That is a serious problem. So for the one in the red car, man and a woman that called me a bitch, I really hope you know that you will get karma. You will reap what you sow. And half the people... That have started on me. You will get karma. For that. And plus from. Knowing what's been going on. Knowing that I can't have peace on my porch. Knowing that I'm always defending myself. And I'm not allowed to do that. Now I'm about to lose my home. I can actually fight that. I can actually keep this home. You cannot take that right from me. If I am literally defending myself, you're going to make me lose my home over because of the sun of silence or because somebody can't put somebody in check or it's an outsider. I don't know. I swear to God, if I lose my home or if we lose our home over this dumb ass shit, a motherfucker drove by with a red car, called me a bitch and me and the landlord got into it. I said, you know what? If you cannot take care of the problem, I said, Kelly and Josh won't put the sun of silence in check. She fucking won't. Neither will Josh Kroos. So there's people fucking with me, screwing with me. And me and the landlord got into it. I said, you know what? You don't help me. I'll get a hold of the Hells Angels, my damn self, to get the son of silence to stop. I don't give a shit. I'm off here. Have a nice day.